with another video. You may hear my little witchling in the background because he's right here playing with his toys. But anyway, this, we're back with a spell video. Now, if you're someone that does not like cuss words, um, maybe stop watching because there's going to be quite a few thrown about. So we're going to be making Bitch Be Gone powder and spray now there is an oil form as well but we are going to do the powder and spray and the spray is a couple more steps added to the powder form so warning that i give in every video every witch is unique every path is unique every spell is unique now i'm aiming to educate and help many people as i can that is the purpose of these videos. Now you can go ahead and you can tweak things, use different ingredients. You could do whatever it is that you want to do that feels right to you. With that being said, you are going to need sage. You're going to need rosemary. You're going to need pepper or you black salt, but I don't have black salt made. I got to make some later. So we're using pepper. You're going to need cinnamon. You're going to need cayenne pepper and garlic salt and that's all the ingredients what you're going to do is you're going to combine all of the ingredients together I uh, um okay in measurements i don't measure i do equal parts of everything um so what that is to you i mean it all depends how much you're making so if you're only making it for your home so go ahead and just make as much as you want to cover all windows and doorways so um now i'm italian so i don't measure anything i just wait until i hear the voices say that's enough and that's when i stop so if that's something you want to do then so be it all right so let me go ahead and put everything into my bowl and combine it. And what you're going to do is you're going to crush everything into a powder form. Now, the sage might be a little bit harder to crush into powdered form. So it's okay if there's some chunks still left in it. Um, that's fine. And hold on. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh, okay. So this is what you could do. Sometimes they have, I think they're called mortars or something where you can like crush your herbs with. Or you can do what I'm about to do. And I'm about to add it to a baggie. And I'm about to take a rolling pin and I'm about to take my anger out because there's a reason I'm making bitch be gone. Okay. So let's do that. Let's get our anger out. And then later on, I could show you how to make happy jars or anger management or whatever. We will figure that out later. So let's go ahead and let's go get our anger out. Shall we? All right. I'm back. And this is what it looks like in powder form. So that's enough for the powdered bitch be gone. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to take this and sprinkle it in your doorways and in your windows. And first, make sure if you are someone who prays or speak incantations or call upon anyone you want, make sure you do that and give your intention, speak your intentions over this so it activates. Then you can go ahead and you could sprinkle it in your doorways and in your windows or in your office doorways or whatever, wherever you feel you need to sprinkle it. Um, first, and another warning for you, you are dealing with pepper, so please keep that in mind when you, it comes to skin contact and eye contact. Um, wear gloves if you need to. So yeah, there's your powder form. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it into spray form. Now all, what I do for spray forms is all I'm going to do is add this to um, moon water or storm water or rain water. Or you can use regular water. That's fine. And what you're going to do is you're just going to boil the water and with the herbs in it. Now you have an option to strain it after or you could just add everything to your spray bottle. Um, let it cool down first before you do anything. If you are going to add crystals to the spray bottle itself, you can do so. You can add clear quartz. You can add any type of black crystal for protection as well. Um, but you need to wait for the water to be completely cooled down before you add any crystals to your spray bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and make it and then I'll show you it after. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like all boiled up. You only need to boil it for a couple of seconds, not a lot. Um, you can go ahead after I am put it in another the bowl back into the bowl because I want it to cool completely down before I add it to my spray bottle. 
And then, like I said, you can add your crystals after it's been already cooled down. Um, you can let it sit on your altar for 24 hours. Uh, make sure you continue to keep your intentions in your brain and speak over it so that it activates and stays activated. And that's it. You have the powder form. You can go ahead and sprinkle in all doorways and windows while speaking your intention out loud. Or you can go ahead and you can take the spray and you can spray it in all your windows and doorways, entrances, any way, any way you want to do it and how to protect you. I mean, shoot, you can even go ahead and spray it in their face or blow the powder in their face. No, don't do that. That's just the anger in me talking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's only meant to protect your home and you and that's it that's it for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one blessed be peace bitch be gone bitch be gone i'm just playing i'm all goofy today <laughs> peace out guys